was ready for action. Nip it in the bud, we never relaxing. Outcast is everlasting. Not clashing, not at all. But see, my went to do a little acting. Now that's for anyone asking. Give me one and pass them. Drip, drip. Message for Coach Michelle. Denny, Jim was saying that um, when he started to turn this program so much respect for Jim uh, and um, you know I think this conference has kind of been the same old story you know the Xavier story or the Temple story and um, you know this year it's the St. Bonnie story and I think if there's a saint in front of the name like St. Joe's and St. Bonnie's uh, I think it's really good for our, our for our league because it's something different and um, you know if you look at the um, you know you look at the, the population of each school I think we're, we're below you know the average of the, of the um, of the conference, but um, you know, I just I, I, I think that uh, you know, Jim's done a great job with this program, and I, and, uh, I appreciate those nice comments. You know, we all want to be winners today, but certainly I think it would be great for our conference if they win it. I really do because it's a different look. He mentioned just a, just give me a quick thought on this. He mentioned when the Wilson girls' home burned out that you guys sent money to her. Just a, just a quick thought on that, or how you found out, or we did. Well, Jack Jumper, our sports info is a St. Bonnie's right. grad. So we were privy to that information. I'm not sure who was or who wasn't, but we were. And, um, you know, I think it's, they would do the same thing for us. You know, if, if a kid is, um, um, you know, struggling in, 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 you know, on our team, and, you know, that was just really a tragic thing that happened to, to our family. And, uh, you know, the kids, that's kind of what we have. And we have kids that, um, you know, care about people. You know, it's bigger than basketball. And uh, we were able to do that. The kids bought in, and certainly some of the parents also bought in. So. Um, and, and we would expect the same from them. I'm sure they would do the same thing. Michelle, they got going early in the first part of the game. How much did that hurt? And how much did it really hurt you? Well, Coach always talks about scores and stops. And if you're not getting the stops, we definitely have to get the scores. So early on, I feel like we just didn't get enough stops. I'm a big person about defense. So I get hurt a little bit. But we, at that point in the game, we did not feel like we were out of the game at that point. Um, Coach, last, last time you did a pretty good job containing Jenkins and Van Tatum. Oh, what was so different about this time? Well, Van Grinsen got two fouls, and that's that really hurt us because she really did a nice job on uh, Megan the first game. Um, and I thought Jenkins, you know, I thought we were just slow a little bit on, on reading how we were supposed to defend the screens. And when you make a mistake on Jenkins, she can take advantage of it. And any time a kid makes their first three, you know that they're feeling good. So I think that set the tone for, for her to have a great game. And, um, you know, I think Megan kind of went off a little bit early as well. And we didn't have that resistance with, with Van Grinsen on the floor. And it was a tough. So we had a double and we had to do some different things. I think the factor was, uh, was you know, that it was your third game in three days. I think it was a factor. You know, I think uh, you saw how short we were on our free throws. I think you saw how short we were on our shots. Um, I think it. I think it is. You know, I think it is. But that's that's you know what was put in front of us, and I do think we're well conditioned. Um, but I also think that uh, you know fatigue took over a little bit, and when you're not scoring, you know certainly sometimes that affects your defense, um, and it did today for us, and that was that was disappointing because I thought we were beyond that. To be honest. Sam, do you see some more basketball this season in, in the St. Joe's future? I do. You know, I, I, I do. I think we'll be uh, we'll be in a tournament. Um, you know, I guess we'll find out next Monday night. But we'll be in we'll be in um, we'll be in one of them. Michelle, what's from your standpoint as you wait until next Monday to find out where you're going to end up tournament wise? And what kind of goes through your head in, in the next week or so? Well, we always prepare for the, the future. So right now after this, I'm going to take an ice bath and relax for the next probably two days. And then I'm going to get back in the gym, working hard, working on the moves. I feel like it's not over. 